Hey everybody, Brad here with BTPA, and today we are covering how to connect the crimp terminals on a power cable to the PowerCon chassis mount connector. Now this is pertaining to the panel width cables that we sell, as well as the pedal train panel kits that we sell with the, the PowerCon adapter to them. Um, so yeah, if you've got one of those, or if you just are curious on how to connect these, this is the video for you. There is a link below with full instructions, written instructions for you, and that you can reference while you're doing it. If you're not wanting to watch a video or don't have a computer by you, if you want to print that out, uh, or just keep it handy in your toolbox. Um, yeah, it's pretty important stuff, so you don't blow anything up, but here we go. Like I said, this is either you purchased one of the, the panel whips, which are the PW part numbers on our site. Those are for essentially if you already have a panel or an existing panel or something with a D-series cut or you're going to cut a D-series hole into a pedal board or a piece of metal work or something that you have that you want to add a D-series. We, we have those panel width is what we call them, the little panel adapters with the cable tails on them on our website. So uh, if you purchase one of the PowerCon connectors from us, the PW08, and there's a variety of different versions of that, PW07, PW06, again, different, or PW07, PW08, PW09. Anyways, there's different varieties of those. Any of those, or if you purchased one of our pedal train uh, panel kits, like the PP12-04 through P, the P being the power adapter, so those pedal train panels have power adapters on them, the power con, and we don't we don't have the, the crimp uh, terminals onto the slit onto the power con tabs because the way that the panels are the holes are on the top and the cable would be in the way for you to drill that into your pedal train board uh, and so obviously it wouldn't work out and then we don't install them on the pw the panel whips we make because all the panels that we sell in house have tapped 440 holes for the connectors so we front mount them you want to be able to get the power cable through the, the d hole so so that's why but if you're someone that likes to rear mount your, your D-series connectors, so mount them on the back of your rack panels, we also, all of these uh, PowerCon assemblies come with the Neutrik MFD plates and the, uh, the correct two screws that go into those. So you do have the option to do that as well. So these assemblies will come with uh, the two 440 screws that are necessary for front mounting on our tap panels. They also come with the Neutrik MFD plates and the two screws for that. Uh, I think they're M4 to, um, to rear mount your connector as well. And that's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, here we'll show you how to do it. So you've got your crimped IEC cable to connect to your power con, ready to go. Whether you bought this sort of assembly from us or you bought the panel, one of our pedal train panels from us, um, this is how it comes. And we do that again to reiterate because we like to front mount these. We, we tap the whole, these two holes with 440 threads on all of our panels so that it's quick and easy to load these in. If you have an issue, you just pull it forward through the panel. You don't have to fit your hands in the rack to fix anything. It's, um, we found, and it's, it's, this is an age old, it's always an argument. Oh, it looks better from the back. It's easier, whatever. It's like the toilet paper coming off the front of the toilet paper roll or the back. I mean, we like it. That's why we do this. So if you are a person that likes to rear mount these, these connectors, so mount them behind the panel itself, these nifty Neutrik MFD plates are great. And they would go like right here on the cable. But it'd be, you know, so everything would be, would be here. And then the, the panel would be in front of it, which well, this is a really bad example, Jesus. But anyways, these MFD plates, we sell them with all of our panel whips, the PW series of, cable, of PowerCon panel whips. We sell these, these come with it, with the two screws for it. So in case you are someone that wants to rear mount it, maybe you aren't using our panel or something like that. But we, we do have this that comes with it as an option. Again, we're not gonna do that for, for the sake of things, we're just doing this, so. All right, and this is the important part. 
So all you kids trying this at home, don't blow anything up. The black goes to the line. That's the hot. The white goes to the end or the neutral. So the black line is the L. White, neutral, that's the N. Green is the ground symbol or the earth. So the ground symbol. Okay. That is important. These are all labeled as such on the back. So we've got ground symbol in the center, the L for line on the left, the N for neutral on the right. Okay, so we've got one of our four port panels just to show you here. Um, and this could be anything, whatever you're using to mount to, but we just got this here again. These are tapped, so we are going to front mount this. This goes right through the hole. So you put this through your hole and you take this. We will start by with the black, the black, which is the line, which goes to the L. Put the tab on there. You take this, be careful to go, you don't want to bend the tab on the power con. So you just go straight in and you hear it click right in. Green, it's the ground right there. Right onto the ground, and then finally the white, which goes onto the neutral tab. Click down. And you would screw, so then you slide, see, it's like this. You screw this onto here, and you slide your boot up. It grips right onto your power con. Wham, bam, thank you, man. All right, and there you have it. That is how you connect those pre pre crimped quick connects pre crimped quick connect tabs onto the the power power con uh, terminals. So that's how you do that. The you know wanted to make this so nobody blows anything up. Again, we do not send the power con connected to that because of our panels having tapped holes and we like the connectors in front for speed easy uh troubleshooting changing things like that and you really don't want to be sliding those quick connect tabs on and off because it wears them out you got to bend them back to grab tightly again so it's really like one or two times i mean you don't want to be disconnect them. So if, if you we sent them to you and you were mounting them into one of our panels, you would have to disconnect those tabs and it's just a pain. So that's why we send them disconnected, but we also send that MFD plate and the two screws. So if you do want to rear mount them to whatever you're, you're mounting the panel connector to, you have that option as well. You're not dealing with screws and nuts. That MFD plate's right there. It makes things really nice. So yeah, and we also have another video showing how to terminate and crimp those lugs on. So if you're a DIY person and you want to do that, we've got another video showing that and it's got the VOM listed. So all the parts you need and, and, and things like that listed, sell them all on our site. And we also list the tooling, which is nice. But yeah, if you liked the video, it'd be great. If you gave us a like, hit that sub button, any questions, drop us a comment below. And yeah, until next time, everyone.